Welcome back to Margaritas in Paradise. Is Thailand right for you? I'll tell you what, it is for me, that's for sure. But there's a lot of different things that you have to be prepared for if you decide to come to Thailand. And the better prepared you are, well, the happier you're going to be. Now, one of the first things I'm going to talk about is accommodations. All right. Accommodations are fantastic here, but you need to be able to adjust to a smaller standard of living. A good example right now, I'm in a 48 square meter condo. Now, I love my condo, but that compares to 517 square feet in the U.S. Is that too small for you? You have to decide, and you have a lot of different choices. Either you want to live on the ocean like I do, or if you want to be in a more city uh, area, you want to be close to shopping, uh, local supermarket, close to the nightlife, things like that. And, and that's decisions that you have to think about. And prices here, they can be very, very cheap, okay, if you can stay in a smaller unit. There's many people that live in a 23 square meter unit, which is half, less than half the size of this condo. Uh, but they do it. It's something to decide on. But on the other hand, I, I just uh, was talking to this guy, Mark, the other day, and he's renting a condo that's 100 square meter. But he's, he's spending like 3,000 baht a night here for for two weeks but uh but he's spending 3,000 baht or what's that come out to be about 80 85 dollars a night for a unit like this here in this building you're you're talking about let's say around 400 dollars a month wanted a bigger unit it would be easy to say that you're going to spend somewhere between 15 and 20,000 baht let's say 500 to um, $600 a month. And that's for ocean view, um, having having a pool on your facility, elevators, 24 hour security, great fitness centers, and close walk, walking distance to shopping and, and local bars or whatever you're, you're after. The thing is, is if you decide on accommodations in general, you need to come here, boots on the ground, walk around, Figure out exactly what you want. And to go along with that, your living standard is definitely going up. Okay? You're going up in a standard because things cost less to live here. So you're going to have more money at the end of the month to spend on things that you really enjoy doing. If you're living on a budget and you're doing it right, you're going to live better in Thailand. Guaranteed. So, is Thailand right for you? So, another thing to consider, the Thai language. Now, I live in Pattaya, Thailand. In any place like Bangkok or uh, Phuket, uh, Krabi, the, the main tourist towns, Koh Samui, even Chiang Mai probably, the English language is going to be a known spoken language. Move out of the cities into the surrounding areas, then you're getting into predominantly Thai spoken language. All your street signs are going to be in Thai. If you go into a government office, more than likely the forms are going to be all in Thai. You have options when it comes to this. You can use Google Translate, for instance. Uh, you take a picture with your phone on Google Translate and it'll translate what a form me. You can take it upon yourself to learn the basics, the core words in, of the Thai language, which is going to be tremendously helpful for you if you decide to live here. But some people can't deal with that all the time and they just don't understand and they feel like Thailand owes them to make them understand. Does that sound right? <laughs> well, anyway, they don't owe you nothing. All right. They expect you to understand and for you to do your own work to understand what they're talking about. So, is Thailand right for you? Thai food. Do you like Thai food? I love Thai food. All right. Now, I can't eat it too spicy. I'm Thai totally... food is so affordably cheap. It tastes so good. 
you have different levels of eating here in Thailand. You can go down to the corner street stall, somebody that's out on the street selling fresh fruit, for instance, 60 baht total for two big packages of, of chopped up fruit. So that was a total of, let's say $2, a little less than $2 actually. Corner, there's a Pad Thai tent within probably 40 meters of the front of my condo. And you can buy a big plate of Pad Thai uh, for 40 baht, a little bit more than $1. Or you can go up to, to Soy 18 to one of the Thai restaurants Again, the Pad Thai, now they have everything, don't get me wrong. I'm just using Pad Thai as an example. But let's say the Pad Thai there, it's probably going to cost 45 baht. <laughs> but the nice thing there is they're going to have fresh water for you to drink, which is going to be free. It's, they're going to have uh, vegetables and that, that you can take as much as you want. And that's going to be included. Moving up to the next level, to the mom and pop stands uh, that are all over Thailand and again they may cost just a little bit more so we may be up to let's say a dollar fifty for a great meal <laughs> you see what I'm getting at if you're eating Thai food in Thailand uh, unless you're going to one of these megastar Michelin type restaurants or something like that uh, you can eat very reasonably uh, eating Thai food but you need that hamburger every now and then, or that steak, or the lasagna, or, or whatever type of international uh, flavor that you're interested in. Thailand has it. Okay, patio. My goodness, you can buy anything you think of. Uh, my friend and me went out to Lebanese the other night. Uh, there's Greek food, massive amounts of Italian food, Irish food, all types of European food in general all kinds of American food. You know, there's a place here called Route 66, okay? And it's an American diner type uh, place. It it ranks in my top 10 of my favorite restaurants here in, in Patia. It's over on the dark side. And they have, you know, they have meatloaf and they have uh, Salisbury steak and with mashed potatoes and they have uh, smoked chicken and beef brisket and hamburgers and milkshakes all kinds of places here to eat if you're looking for japanese uh sushi restaurants or korean barbecues okay they 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 have it all here over in jump in the other day and i saw that they had an an argentine uh, steakhouse over there. I'm definitely going to give it a try. It sounds good to me. The different options you have here when it comes to food and especially if you're living on a budget. So is Thailand right for you? If you're coming here on a low, low end budget, have no problem with eating Thai every day. That's the way to do it. <laughs> One of the things I absolutely love is waking up in the morning. I open up my balcony and I look at the ocean. Now, Sometimes it's smog, and I'm like, what the heck? Basically, right. the end of January through right now, it, it's smoggy conditions, and it's because of burning in northern Thailand and pollution Thailand, and it's the air quality. And if you look at, at uh, air quality index, which I keep an app for it on my phone, you'll see whether or not it's healthy or not to go outside. Now, how can that be in such a beautiful place? But that is a real problem here. But here, there's times when it may be over 100 or even higher. And over 100 is unacceptable. It is, um, it's dangerous to go outside. Now, it's not every day like that, but it does happen. And if you have breathing problems or is Thailand right for you? I don't know. I mean, you're going to have to make that call. you have ever imagined me not happy? <laughs> all right, so I'm always happy. I try to stay positive all the time. But if you're one of those type people, and I see it all the time, uh, people that's a complainer, okay? Somebody that's never happy, that happens. I know that ha it doesn't matter about whether you're in Thailand or wherever you're at. You don't want to live an unhappy life. 
And this is a happy place. You want to come here with a positive attitude. You want to get along with people. You, yeah, living in a negative life, well, I've literally disassociate myself with negative people. Uh, if, if they're negative around me and I've known them for a couple days, I just get rid of them. You know, I eliminate them from my life. They're, they're, I don't have time for that. <laughs> and I don't know if that makes any sense to you or not, but, but, but I'm serious. Who wants to be around a negative person? I mean, we're here to have a great time. And 99% and of the people that are here are positive. When you come here, you have to conduct yourself accordingly. Um, you have to be respectful to the Thai culture. Uh, stop complaining about the Thai culture. It was here before you. If, if you don't like it, go someplace else. Please. <laughs> so, is Thailand right for you? Getting around Thailand is something else. Just in the local area, Patia, Thailand, even worse, in Bangkok, traffic sucks. It's not for somebody that's always in a rush. If you're going out in traffic, you have to have it in your mind that it's going to take 30 minutes to get to the restaurant. If you're going to take a bulk taxi, for instance, or grab taxi, it's going to take a while to get from point A to point B. If you're in Bangkok, it may take an hour to get from point A to point B. And so you have to be prepared for that. But get, getting around Thailand in general is completely different. All right. I can fly from Bangkok to Udon Thani and it's going to take, a, it's an hour flight. Now to drive from Pattaya to Udon Thani is approximately 10 hours. But flying up there, you know, that, that requires getting to the airport or having to leave for the airport at least two hours before the time that you have to get to the airport to adjust for traffic. All right. So then you need to be, because it's a domestic flight, you need to be at the airport a minimum of two hours before they start boarding the aircraft. There, There's another two hours. It, then you have to throw in the one hour to fly to Udon Thani. So you're talking about five hours. Half of your driving time that you spent driving, you spent five hours flying there. So can you compare that? That's a possibility. Uh, but the one thing to remember is a flight, a round trip flight, from Don Juan, Bangkok Airport, to Udon Thani, round trip, given 15 kilos of check luggage. The total cost round trip was going to be 3,500 baht. Now that's approximately 100 US dollars. <laughs> you can't beat that. I'll tell you what. That's, that's one heck of a deal. It doesn't matter if you're going to fly to Phuket for a week. Uh, it's going to be about the same price and all over. If you're going to go to Chiang Mai, it's the same deal. All right. And I, I was just using Air Asia, but there's no air. There's Thai air. There's uh, Thai Lion Air. And there's other airlines that fly domestically in Thailand. People, I know lots of people that hire a chauffeur and they, they like the space of a van, for instance. And they don't want to have to drive themselves. But today, more so than ever before, getting a rental vehicle, all right, and traveling, driving yourself, very doable. And it's very, very cheap to do that. So there's other things like taking a bus, there's uh, taking a train, there's options of taking ferries, a lot of people, and I highly recommend it. Come to Thailand, get an international driver's license before you come here, and rent a motorbike. Get out and see Thailand by motorbike, uh, wear a helmet, and, um, and have fun. But remember, the traffic sucks. Traffic is unforgiving. You have to expect the unexpected with traffic. You need to drive if you're driving with your head on a swivel. <coughs> All right. Is Thailand for you? Probably right. one of the biggest things that people don't think about when they come to Thailand is the weather. Now, I'll tell you what, 
it gets hot here and it gets humid. And if you're not ready for heat, if you're not ready for the tropics, this may not be the place for you. You definitely want to make sure that you can handle, even your condo, your air conditioned condo, okay? And you're walking down to the, to the corner market, drenched in sweat by the time you get down there. If that's going to bother you, then you need to think about it. You need to think about what you're wearing, uh, that you're drinking plenty of water. And can you live in Thailand under those conditions? So that's that's just one more thing. And, and it's going to be a big item for a lot of people. A lot of people just cannot understand or stand how hot it gets here. Do a little bit of research and check that out and make sure that Thailand is right for you. All right. I just went over eight ideas as far as is Thailand right for you. Those are things to think about. It's, it's definitely, you need to make up your mind of what you want Thailand to be. To, Thailand is a new adventure for me. Every day, I, I'm active, I, uh, I take part in my community, and, and I have a great time doing it. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, Make sure you're hitting that subscribe button. There's a bell right next to it for future notifications of videos. If you like what I'm doing, consider giving me a super thanks. There's all kinds of information in the description box below. Check that out. Until next time, uh, I, I hope your life is as good as mine. And I hope to meet you. If you ever see me out on the roads or anything, definitely come up, say hello. Uh, and, and you have a great day. All right. Bye.